Hey guys, and welcome back to Jess and Ray's Romance. I'm Jessen, and today I'm going to be doing a little series <laughs> that was inspired by Morgan from Nothing Better Than a Book. If you haven't watched my previous video where I discussed my TBR for the Paranormal Romance Readathon that's happening at the end of the month, I cannot wait, then you might not know. We have a hurricane coming. I live in Louisiana, and um, Hurricane Delta is set to hit soon ish and uh, it's it's 6 a.m i'm i might not be on my game anyway i want to record some videos just in case we have power outages i was inspired by morgan i will link her channel down below and today i'm going to be sharing the romance series that i refuse to finish or just i don't have an interest in finishing them it's not like i hate them with a burning passion i mean i might hate some of them with a burning passion but i don't want to come across that way because i know that there's some favorite series in here that people really love. People just have difference of opinion when it comes to books. Some books hit others differently and it's like, oh my God, I love this book. Like I know so many people who do not like series that I absolutely love and that's completely fine. But I just wanted to share with you books that I will not be continuing because I get a lot of suggestions for us to review certain books or series on the podcast and I'm just like, not gonna happen we only do positive reviews on our podcast and this is where I share all my reviews negative or positive my unfiltered thoughts but on the podcast we keep it to books that we would suggest to everyone the first very popular series that I have no interest in continuing is the Black Dagger Brotherhood I have read a ton of books in this series I think I discovered them in 2014 and I was still heavy in the Pionora realm, not really touching contemporary romance. And so I was very intrigued by this world and I do have my favorites, book two, which is Rage and Mary, and book three, which is Zetas and Bella. I really do like those books. They stuck out in my mind. But there were some things about this series that like rubbed me the wrong way. I do not like the voices of the characters. They're all the same, like all the guys talk in the same way. And they all listen to like blaring rap music all the time, wear leather and talk about their shit kicker boots. And it just feels like there's not very much dynamic personality between each of the Black Dagger Brotherhood members they're just they just kind of all end up by being samey there was a character named butch he seemed like he oh the battery's gonna die i'm back hopefully i didn't move around too much anyway as i was saying before my battery so rudely started dying butch seemed like he was going to be a character where there was going to be like some difference in personality coming in and then he just kind of integrated with them and became one of them. Started dressing like them, started talking like them. <sighs> anyway, the last book I read in the series was The Beast, which was kind of like a sequel to Rage and Mary's book, but I decided to not continue with the series on the with the previous book, the book that was published before The Beast. I think it was called The Shadows. And that book, I was just like, all right, it's time to call it quits. I wasn't feeling the series for like a couple books. The only reason why I hung around so long is because there was a couple of characters that were in the background. I stuck around for those secondary storylines happening in the background and I wanted to watch them pay off. But the more books I read in the series, the more dissatisfied I was with the HEAs the way that J.R. Ward had to construct a lot of the plot to come up with loopholes for the humans to be able to mate with the Black Dagger Brotherhood, because there's a whole rules, society rules, whatever. They were getting more and more far-fetched, so I was just like, all right, let's move on. The next series that I don't want to finish is the Outlander series, Don't Kill Me. This is one of the few series where I enjoy the TV show more than the books, although I'm kind of getting bored with the TV show now. I absolutely loved Outlander when I first read it. I ended up by buying like the rest of the books in the series that were out at the time. I was okay with like the amount of pain in the first book, but whenever it became like a theme, and I started to feel like the author was purposefully putting her characters through the most unimaginable situations. There is a lot of rape in this book. Like, so many characters get raped. It was excessive. It was almost like 
the author had a fetish for including it in her book and I was just like when are these characters going to get a break and not get raped? I do not like rape as a plot point or a point of conflict. It's something that a lot of authors do and I really don't like it. It can be done well and it could be very important to a story. I've read many stories that include like sexual assault and rape that I have loved, but this one just kind of felt gratuitous and excessive and I was like, stop torturing my characters for no reason. Like Jamie and, and Claire, they've been through a lot. Why is stuff still going on? Anyway, the last book that I read was Drums of Autumn and then I heard something that happened in Fiery Cross and I was like, I am not, not, not reading it. I'm not doing it, so. Okay, the next series that I probably won't finish, which is crazy to think, is the Fever series by Karen Marie Monning. And you might be like, Jessen, don't you suggest this series like all the time? Here's the thing. This series has evolved in a way that the author had not originally planned. The first five books were like a series. This was the Fever series, okay? And there was like a complete story. Like you can read the first five books in the series and not continue and you can feel satisfied that the series came to a, a close and your characters were in a really good place. Then she did a spinoff book called Iced. It received mixed reactions. I and Juliet, my aunt, we both really loved Iced and we could see the vision of the future of like what where she was going with this character. A lot of people did not like Ice because the heroine and there's no sex at all is very young. She's 14. I always expected that there was going to be a time jump in the series for Danny to become an adult. And then a lot of personal things happened in the author's life where she put off the next book for a very, very long time. And once the next book came out, this vibe of the series kind of changed and I felt like it was a little bit in response to the backlash she received from Ice. So it just wasn't the story that I was expect expecting. Also, Michaela and Barons, which were the original couple of the Fever series, kind of overtook Danny's books in a way. And I don't know if Karen Marie Monning just felt safer going back to like a tried and true couple that everyone loved and focusing on them again instead of like developing these new characters. Like Danny, like continue to develop her. We focus on Mac and Barons. And I feel like Michaela, Mac, experienced this character regression that I hated in the later Fever series. <laughs> she retitled it Fever series, um, like the whole thing, like Iced is now part of the Fever series. It was character regression, plot points were dropped, it was, it felt messy. I just want the first five books and I don't want the rest in Iced. The next series that I don't want to finish is Devil's Night series by Penelope Douglas. The first book in the series, I was kind of caught off guard by this group of boys intentions they were kind of like torturing the heroine of the book and there was a little bit of a time jump and i don't know and they were just like oh it's all fun and games and i'm like mm, i don't know i was kind of afraid you're about to murder her it was very dark anyway and i know that nightfall recently came out this year and i looked at it and i was just like i had such feelings of don't want when I saw that book, I just I just can't do that series. It's too much emotional effort for me to sympathize with the characters. And in the end, it's all like, oh, but you misunderstood their intentions. And it was like, but did I? I don't know. The next series that I think I'm just going to not continue with at all is The League of Extraordinary Women by Evie Dunmore. The first book, Bringing Down the Duke, was okay. I think I originally rated it at four stars but I think of it more like as a 3.53 star. And then the second book, the one that recently came out and I can't remember the title, I will pop it up right here because I'm not quite awake and don't feel like going check. I did not like this one. And I feel like I was kind of pressured into liking it by like everyone else liking it because it was like, ooh, these are strong heroines fighting for women's rights. But the thing is, there are other books that I think do a better job of it. And I just don't connect with this series at all. I don't connect with the characters. And the pacing of both books was kind of a little off for me. It was like a struggle to finish reading both of these books. And I always felt dissatisfied at the end. I need to stop feeling pressured to read popular series. Another very popular series that I am not going to be finishing is the Romance Book Club by Lysa Lissa. 
K. Adams. I don't know how she says her first name. I'm in the minority with the first book. A lot of people really loved it. I know a lot of people didn't like the second one, but for me, the first one was like enough to call it quits and I have no intention of continuing with the series. And I know that the second book was about a character that I absolutely loathed in the first book, the sister. I can't remember her name, Thea, Thea? No, that was a, that was a heroine, her sister. I did not like her and I was like, I don't wanna read a story about her, so I did not. The third book is coming out soon and I see a lot of people talking about it and I'm like resist the pressure to just read it because everyone else is reading it and just read the books that I know I will enjoy. And the last series that I will not be finishing is the Jennifer Armentrout series, Blood and Ash. I, even though I bought the second book, a lot of people have asked, well like since you bought it are you just going to read it anyway? I know you didn't like the first one but maybe, maybe you'll like the second one and maybe you'll get into the series more. And I'm just like these are such large books. And if I did not, if I really, really did not like the first book, and I'm looking at the second book, even though I bought it, and it's very, very long, and I'm just afraid it's gonna happen again, I just can't, I can't, I can't commit. Like, I just know I'm gonna read one chapter and I'm gonna have such difficulty finishing this book, it's going to take me forever. And I just rather focus on something that I know I'm going to love. Okay, guys, that is it for the series that I am not going to finish. I'm sure that there's some other series that I've started and I'm not going to finish, but these were like right off the top of my head. I'm like, mm, don't want. I have a bad case of the don't wants when it comes to these books. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button where you'll be notified on any future videos that I do. The next video will be about series that I have started and I have not finished, but that I really want to finish. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, life's better with a little HEA. Bye, guys.